Uh, so I'm just doing a quick test of um, put the roll underneath the cutter here. Um, and I'm just going to pull this across here, hopefully to cut a small bag. I'll try it with one hand, it might not be that easy. Let's see how it goes. Fingers crossed, lift that up, and one little bag. And I need to seal, I'll do a manual seal on one end, and then I'll put something in it. I'm just going to do a manual seal on the bag that I've prepared for some small items, just to check the manual sealing process. So I position it there, pop that down, should click both ends. That's good. Seems to be on, and let's hit the manual seal. And wait for the light to change. Okay, light's gone off, so let's push the clickers at the end to release it. Should do them both at the same time, but that can't with one hand, obviously. And there you have the bag sealed at one end. Okay, I'll pop something in it now and I'll vacuum it. So I've put the bag in now, I'm going to try and do a vacuum. You've got to make sure you don't cover the air intake just there. So pop it there. Just put an onion in just to test it. Pop that down. Okay, let's have a go. And there it goes. And wait for the manual seal and the pop, and that should be done. And I did notice that over there, I'm not going to do it over here, you've got a little cutter so you can. You can cut a little tear notch in, I don't need two hands to do that, but you know how you can cut a little tear notch into the edge there so that it's easier to open when it comes to it. Well that's what that little bad boy there is for, that little cutter. And that is pretty well vacuumed. Perfect. Okay, so when you put it in, I'm going to move that back a bit. Make sure that you get the bag, I'll turn that one around, up quite high, not covering the nozzle there though. Pop that down. So now you've got a choice. You've got normal and gentle for vacuuming. Okay, so gentle is going to be for crisps and, and delicate stuff. It's going to be less pressure. Food, you've got dry and moist. So this is obviously dry food, so you can leave it on dry. And that's how much it sucks out. Your canister is a little thing at the end here where you can suck air out of canisters. And you also use marinade. And I used the manual seal a minute ago. But all you do is I put that in there and press that. That should do its business. And you'll see all the seal come on. Uh, up the top here, and that'll go off when it's ready. And if I open that up, that's it done. There you go. Okay, so that little thing here has got a blade under it, and that's for you to cut. I think you just cut a little notch, I guess you press, I think. I don't know, I'll not use it. Press there, and there you've created a little rip so that when you want to open it, it's easier to tear it across there. Okay.